Yes, uh, Dermot and uh, Semyonov will go in for Sandine and Simmons. In, in both Sandine and, and Simmons' case, it's just a matter of the fact that I want to use our depth and get some guys in the lineup here tonight. And in both cases, it's just a chance to manage their season, manage their minutes and things like that. In Rasmus' case, he's played a lot here as a young guy for us. and. And had some bumps and bruises along the way and played through it, including today. He'd be fine to play, but we just we just thought, given that we want to get Dermot in, it made sense to uh, to give Rasmus the day here today. You mentioned the organization has faith in Joseph Wall's talent. Where does that faith come from? Obviously, he's got a great pedigree. He's still around Penn, played a little bit. How would you describe where that faith and trust comes from? Well, I think the pedigree is part of it, for sure. Uh, but then also you just, you just watch him in the net, I mean, whether it's my time with the Marlies. You know, he, he was his first year pro. I was there with the Marlies, and the time he came in, I watched him. I had watched him in development camps, and I had watched him uh, with us, uh, with the Marlies. And, and <clears throat> I can remember his first start that he made, his first start with the Marlies. And I can't remember even what the results were in the game, but I just came away really impressed with his athleticism, his size, the way that he competed in the net. Uh, in that particular game, he made some unbelievable saves. You know, uh, those type of athletes, you know, a lot of times uh, well, you, don't, you don't get them often in the American League. And, and I think he, you know, he, even throughout that season when he was, you know, some of his stats weren't showing up the way that you would expect them to or that you would hope they, they would, uh, you're just impressed with him every day. So, um so that's part of it. So the opportunity is, uh, is, is here. And just the fact that we've, we've had a good stretch of games uh, for Jack. It's allowed Joe time to be around our team and around the league for a little while here. And uh, we just think the timing is right to give him a go here, given the opportunity that has come available with Mrazic's injury. And, you know, you know sometimes young players, you need, you need to give them some opportunities to show what they can do. And, and uh, here we are tonight. I mean, it's obviously a big deal for him personally. I mean, making your first NHL start. I don't think, from our perspective, uh, we don't look at it as anything more than just you know one one start here and, and a great opportunity to, for him to get some valuable experience and a chance for him to know that the organization believes in him. I think that that can go a long way for a young player, um, regardless of position. So you know, he'll he'll go tonight. You know. Uh, my focus really is not on the goal thunder tonight. My focus, as it always is, is on the team playing in front of them. We need to make sure that we're focused and, and do our job uh, to give him every opportunity to, to succeed here today. I mean, no matter who our goal thunder is, our job is to prevent teams from getting to our net. Uh, so that's the focus here for today. And uh, it just so happens that it's a you know, great opportunity for a young goal thunder. I haven't thought about it once. Do you think your team is doing a better job of cutting down great chances lately? I do. I think we have. I mean, we're not perfect. I don't think any team really is. You know, we played against a team last night in Calgary. I think this established themselves a team that makes it really hard to, to get to the net. Yet we were in alone five, six times, I thought, last night and had really great chances. Some nights, you know, you're going to have cracks there. But I do think we've had greater attention to detail in that regard here, especially in the last three, four games. You know, they're just they're just playing loose and with confidence. And you know, I think uh, whether it's last night's game or just you know, how they started the season, you know, they've you know, they've beaten some very good teams. Uh, they got lots of speed, lots of skill. They have the puck a lot. When they do, uh, they're they're making plays. They're challenging the line. They're looking to to uh, to, to score and attack. So you know, if you're not uh, bringing your game uh, in terms of structure and competitiveness and those kind of things to make it hard on them. And then they, you know, the game plays into their hands. So it's really on us to make it a difficult game for them. Um, challenging our guys here today to bring the same level of competitiveness and structure that we brought into the games where we've played really well here of late, and make sure that we don't deviate as we, you know, as we did, uh, you know, uh, in our previous game when we played LA earlier earlier in this week, which I guess Kevin would be the one, to, uh, ex uh, you know, um, one exception from how we've played here recently. Yeah, 
yeah, it's been it's been nice to get back out into some of these buildings and cities, uh, move around a little more sense of normalcy in, in that sense. It uh, you know it, it's 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 a, it's been a nice reminder of of the league and the pace of the league and how difficult it is when you're preparing for new opponents every single day virtually here. Uh, last season with the you know the divisional play was a lot different in that sense. You know. Um, the pace of the league is a lot quicker this 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 time around here, for, you know. And, and for me, as I've said pr previously, I've I've coached more games in the league in uh, you know abnormal times than I have in, in normal times. So so it's been a, it's been an adjustment in that sense again here. But it, it's nice. It's it so it feels like the NHL. Well, it's early in the season here, but I, I do see value in that. You know, whether it's in Joe Wall's situation, whether it's, you know, Semyonov's uh, case here, or you look at it with uh, even Joey Anderson, who's been here. Uh, and in the past, as you say, we, we've done that. And I, do, I, think, I think there's value in it. Uh, some, in some cases, it's to help them, it's to help them uh, close the gap a little bit you know, for the adjustments that come if you, if you do get called up and you get put in the lineup. And in some cases, it's it's a bit of a of a of a wake up call in the sense that it's you realize there is a significant gap there, and you've got work to do, and that helps put things in perspective. At the same time, and in some cases, it's us learning more about the player and the, and where that gap is and how big it is or is not. And in other cases, it's maybe the player you know gets that sense himself and and goes back and continues to work. So I think there's lots of value in it when the opportunity presents itself. Yeah, I, I think that there is something to that. I don't think there's an exact science to it, but I think each player is unique and different. You know, there's um, in some cases, you know, I've been in the American League where you're you know, you're playing against a guy on a Friday night, and you, you, you know, you just feel like he was just okay, and pretty average in that game, and then you turn on your TV and two days later, and he's gotten called up. You're watching him in the NHL, and you're you say, wow, this guy's a good player. In some cases, those guys don't come back to the American League. Uh, so it's it's interesting how, how that works, and in some cases it goes the, the opposite. Some guys really thrive in the American League and come up and, and struggle to find themselves. So that's why I think it's it's important as an organization that you take the appropriate steps to try to find out as much as you can about players and give them every, every opportunity to find out about themselves. I, I think, you know, each player is different and unique. I think in the early going here is with our team, we've had so many different things, so many different looks and new players that have come in in our forward group that you want to let things play out a little bit here. Well, obviously, in Wayne's case, he's a guy whose role has reduced a little bit here this season. And, you know, we're in this situation here, as I as I looked at it and communicated to Wayne, that I want to utilize the depth that we have. I thought Semyonov did a nice job the other day. And like we've seen now here now, where we believe we have seven defensemen that are worthy of playing every night, we think that you know, when we have players that can help us, we want to utilize that. And in a back-to-back -back situation, it just makes a ton of sense to utilize it. In particular, when we look at you know the fact that back-to-backs so far in the early season here haven't gone very well for us. In fact, you noticed that you gave him uh, the, the notice three or four days ago instead of spring on last night. Uh, yeah, we 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 talked about it in in advance about how to handle that, what was what was best, but ultimately just thought, while of course we reserve the right to change the plan, you know, and you know we, you don't know what's going to happen between the time you tell them, but you want to give them a heads up that it, you know, if things fall into place, that's that's the plan. Uh, it gives him uh, some days to really prepare and know that. He's not just here for the experience and that, you know, if, if uh, the opportunity plays out uh, the way that we think that it may, um, that we would get him in there and we wouldn't hesitate to do so. So that's just a change of mindset in terms of his practice, practices and preparation and the way we communicate with him. And then 
And the guy making his first NHL start, I think there's a whole other piece of it. You know, there's getting your family uh, situation sorted out, and it's a big deal. So you want to give some time for all that stuff to get to get sorted, so you can just focus on playing. I'm not, I'm not sh I'm not sure the exact number as we've as we've come into it here. Uh, now that he's he's playing, it's I don't talk to the, to the goalies very much on game day, so we'll leave it there.